Hi everyone, welcome back to Conscious Crafting with We River Farm. Uh, today what we'll be making is a piggy bank. We'll be using um, a water bottle or you can use a soda bottle, any kind of plastic bottle you have if you have one. Um, and then otherwise you'll need paint, a marker, um, paper and scissors as well as glue. Um, so first you're gonna wanna take a water bottle, take off the paper um, and then paint it. So I've already painted mine pink um, so that it can dry. So you wanna give it at least half an hour to dry depending on how pink you make it. Um, and I'll also make sure you paint the cap. So all of this is becoming pink. We're using the whole water bottle. Once you've done that, um, next what you're gonna wanna be doing is adding on legs and ears. Um, and then we'll add on the details to the face. Um, so you can use pink paper or you can, I actually painted paper pink, um, so you can do that too. And then you're gonna want on to add on your legs and add on your ears and add on your tail. So we'll start with the tail. You're gonna wanna do it around a pen or a pencil and make a nice curly Q. So you can turn it around it. And then you're gonna to wanna to hold it for at least a minute to keep that shape. All right, and once you've held it, you can take it off your pen or pencil, unwind it just a little bit, so you have a bit of a longer tail. And then you're gonna glue part of it on to the bottom of the water bottle here. Now we've got our nice curly cute tail. And then we're gonna do, wanna do the same with our arms and uh, legs. So we'll be gluing them onto the sides. So basically just holding it on so there's part of it that's attached to the plastic um, and part of it that's not. And you can do this fairly low down on your water bottle. Great, so once you've glued your arms and legs to your pig, then you can add on some toes. And then we're gonna glue on the ears. So before we do that, we can make, um, kind of trace the inside of the ear with our marker. Give it some more design like this. And then you're gonna bend over part of it and that's gonna be the part that glues on to the back of the bottle. You wanna leave enough space to put the eyes as well. So I'll do it back here. Once you do your ears, all that's left to do is draw on your eyes, your nose, and then also cut your um, slots for actually having it be a piggy bank. Um, so what you wanna do with your nose is you can do two lines, kind of like an 11, and make sure it's gonna line up with the top when it's fully on. So if, um, and if you want to, I'm not going to, but you can actually glue the lid on. So some people who wait until the piggy bank is full to break it open, um, you can glue that top, that way you can't just randomly open it. So I'll draw on my nose like this, and then I'll draw on some eyes. So there we've got the eyes of my pig as well. Um, and now the only part we're missing to actually make it a full piggy bank is of course the slot for us to put our coins through. So you can use a quarter for a reference to make sure it's gonna fit any um, size coin, but you don't need it too big, otherwise you can have those coins fall out um, before you're ready to take them out of your piggy bank. So 
So you can draw kind of a line to guide you before you do that. Um, and if kids, if you're doing this, um, this might be a part you want some parental help for just because you're using kind of sharp things. Great, so once you've marked where you're gonna have your cut, um, you can take scissors um, and cut gently or carefully, cut open where you need your slit. And once you've got a small hole, you can open that up a little further. Great, so once you've cut around, um, you can actually make your slit. I've made mine a little large, but you can make it larger or smaller, just depending on your preference. Um, and there you have it, um, a piggy bank made out of a water bottle. Um, if you all are looking for more things to do while you're at home, um, check out thechessies.org slash at home for a lot of different virtual resources um, from all over the state, not just from the South Shore. Um, and if you're interested in making a donation, you can head to thechessies.org slash donate. I hope you all are doing well and having a nice week and take care.